heard that uh, during the holy month of Ramadan, the shaitan is chained. And, but still people sin during that holy month. How could that be possible? Beautiful. During the month of Ramadan, the shaitan is chained. And so how is it that people sin? The first thing to do is to correct the question. You have to understand the ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ in the light of other ahadith. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have a hadith which explicitly says, Maradatu shayateen. That the most evil and the most experienced among the shayateen are chained. So many of the ulama simply say that those who have the most effect on people, those who are most uh, experienced in misleading people are chained, whereas the regular shayateen are not. Therefore, that explains that people continue to sin. Number one. Number two, let's assume that the person did not understand the hadith in this fashion or they have another interpretation of the hadith. The second thing which could be is that an-nafsul ammaratu bisu. Allah Azza wa Jal made our souls themselves have a, a, an inclination towards evil. So it could be that whatever a person has been committing of sins before Ramadan, it haunts him in Ramadan because of his own doings. It's not the shayateen, it's ourselves. You follow me? So it's not from the whisper of the shaitan, it's residue from the months before Ramadan. This is similar to Hajj. Many people think that, you know, they can lead a life of a, of a lousy Muslim, and then when they go for Hajj, khalas. Huh? They will fix the situation, come back, newborn, ready to go to Jannah. And the only condition is, huh, that, لا رفث ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج. All you have to do is leave three things. No sexual relations, fine. And no disobedience, mm -mm. And no argumentation in Hajj. So you see the people during Hajj. From the time he gets on the bus, he's already fighting with the driver. And fighting with the people behind him. And fighting with everyone and screaming, Allah, what Hajj is this? He ruined Hajj from before he goes. This is besides the one who's smoking the whole way. Huh? The people doing labbaik, Allahumma labbaik, and he's puffing on a cigarette. Then he has the nerve to go and puff a cigarette in the, on Arafat. I've seen people at the last hour on the day of Arafat that يعني, خلاص, the day is ending, people are making dua crying, he's smoking a cigarette. Allah mustaan us Allah al-afiyah. See? So they think they can do it in Hajj. You can't do it like that, Akhi. You have to uh, train yourself before Hajj to be able to deal with the people on Hajj. Otherwise, the people will drive you crazy in five minutes. Muslims from all different backgrounds with different cultures, if you, you, it's impossible to be able to refrain from arguments and from disobedience unless you're trained. Similarly, it's impossible to do it in Ramadan unless we are trained. So if we haven't trained ourselves, Ramadan comes, even if the shayateen is away, we are still there. We bring it on ourselves. Mom's time.